Okay, so today we are doing an inspection, a buyer's inspection on a mobile home HVAC system on a vacant house. It's a little bit staged um, for buyers. So we're going to do an inspection and we are going to walk through our inspection checklist, which we have a lot of items here, okay? So starting with the air filter. Is the air filter clean? No, okay, so we're gonna mark that as a no, as a fail, okay? All right, our next item is inspect filter housing and air seal. Now what that means is, this is a little different because this is a mobile home, but we want air coming in through here we don't want any air bypassing the filter. So we can see here, there's air gaps, which means even if the filter was here, air is gonna come through here, it's not gonna get filtered and it's gonna get on that coil. So this has to be sealed up a little bit better. Okay, so we are going to put, inspect air filter housing and air seal and we're going to put failed on that one, okay? Inspect grills, registers, and diffusers for dirt. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this entire house and film all of the grills, okay? But basically, we're just gonna make sure that they're not broken, that they're the right size, that there's no gaps here. Now they have their screwed down, okay? So we can't lift them up, but I'm gonna go through and check and just make sure that they're all in place. Be right back. Okay, all their grills are good. So we're gonna inspect the ductwork for moisture accumulation or biological growth. Okay, on these mobile homes, they have a big piece of insulation. I forget what they call it, um, but we can't see past it. So mobile homes are a little bit different, but we can check in here for any types of biological growth. Really here, we just have a ton of dust and we're gonna to get to this coil here in a minute so unfortunately we can't do much about looking at the ductwork in a home like this okay all right so we are going to put an x on past and then we'll go in and put a note later okay inspect integrity of accessible ductwork okay we're going to crawl under there and take a look but there won't be a lot we can do is the ductwork sealed same issue Test zoning controls, modules of operation. Okay, this is not a zone system. All right, so we're gonna go test thermostat operation. All right, so that's the first time we're gonna actually turn the machine on and just see at the moment if the thermostat brings the machine on. Okay, so we're gonna go here. This thermostat is a little different, a little old. Okay, so we are in we're going to check and see, let's put it in heat mode first. Okay, heat, it's 56 in this house. We're gonna turn it up, all right. Okay, so we can hear that it's bringing the fan on. We're gonna want this, first we need to check if this is a heat pump to see if this is even gonna come on. And then we'll have to check the backup heaters. So let's go outside and take a look. Okay, they have a cage on the unit, so that's good. Pretty sturdy, really sturdy. All right, let's look down in here. Oh, we do have a heat pump. See that reversing valve in there? Okay, so this should be coming on. We'll wait and see if the unit has a time delay. And then if that comes on in heat mode, we'll check it in AC mode and we can at least verify that the thermostat is working properly, not necessarily the machine but the thermostat oh look at that we've got a some kind of dog in the background with his puppies he was initially coming this way oh look at him he's taking a seat nice well-behaved dog all right let's go in and finish what we we're doing okay so the thermostat is bringing the auxiliary heaters on the condenser is not coming on so we're going to check that in a minute but first i just want to check to see if the thermostat will bring the condenser on in air conditioning mode. It's a little cold out here, okay. All right, so we've got it set at 48. Let's take a look. 
Okay, there it is. It's on. Got the dog being a little curious still. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna have an issue with probably the wiring of that thermostat, I'd imagine. There's no way to know without troubleshooting, okay. Okay, for now, on test thermostat operation, we are going to put fail. We're gonna come back and check these things that failed. Test and inspect the drain pan and the safety switches, okay? All right, on a mobile home, there's the drain here. And that drain is going all the way down. And there are no safety switches here. And there needs to be by code. So I would put a safety switch somewhere on here. Maybe even in the pan um, or out of the backup drain. Okay, so we're gonna have to put fail on that because there are no safety switches, okay? Anytime you have an AC and below the AC is the building, the livable space, whatever you wanna call it, you have to have safety switches in case that water overflows. You don't wanna ruin the floor or the subfloor or anything below, okay? So that's what I mean by safety switches. Okay, test and inspect unit safety switch. They don't have one, okay? Inspect cabinet, cabinet fasteners and panels. Okay, basically, this is really simple. That panel is on there, pretty good. This filter panel was down when I got here. So what we need to check is, does it sit in there properly? Okay, so what that does is, actually upside down. Okay, one second. Okay, we're gonna flip that right there. It's hard to do this with one hand. And that has to hook on there. And there we go. Okay. All right. It's a little different when you're in a regular house. Okay, inspect for clearance around the system. Okay, you need three feet clearance around the servicing side of the condenser, which is the unit outside. We have it, and of course, we have clearance on this air handler, so we're gonna hit pass. Inspect electrical disconnect box. Okay, let's go to the disconnect box. I have no idea where that dog went. He doesn't know me, I don't know him, so I'm not that comfortable. He seemed well behaved. He seemed a little shy, actually. I'm just gonna use caution. I'm not an electrician, so we are going to call that disconnect box good for now until I figure out where that dog went. Okay, now I have to get my meter to do some amp draw checks. Okay, so some of this stuff is hard to hold the phone and do at the same time. So measured line voltage, had good line voltage. And we inspected the electrical connections. They're looking good. And the amp draw was also a pass. Okay, all right. So we're gonna check these relays in a minute. The next couple things we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna end up closing the video once I get most of them done. Okay, blower motor amps, we just checked that. That was a pass, voltage is good, okay. We're gonna go out to the condenser here in a minute, clean the drain pan, we're not cleaning. Test condensate pump, there's no pump here. Inspect condensate blowing from coil. Okay, so a lot of this stuff here, I'm not gonna do one-handed. So I just wanted to walk you through just a little short maintenance on a unit. And when we get to the next one, I'll shoot another video. Thanks.